How many times have you found yourself switching between projects and copying one element from one project and opening up another one and copying it into that? It can take a lot of time. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Power Bins to copy your assets between videos without having to switch different projects in DaVinci Resolve. This is part of my time-saving hacks for video editing series. I'm here to help you get productive, so let's get into this. Before we do, if you haven't subscribed already, consider subscribing. I make videos for creative entrepreneurs, so let's get into this. So this is definitely one of those features that you want to know about. Before I even knew this was a thing, I was constantly switching between projects and this was super frustrating because it would take up to five minutes to switch between the projects and copy the elements and sometimes it didn't copy correctly and yeah. Well, let me show you what I'm talking about. Let's say for example that I created a title. So this is a video that I'm working on right now for the Foodie 2 which will be out before you actually see this video. But I created these titles for our names like several videos ago and I've been reusing them every single time. So I can actually take these at any point and then copy them in here. Now let's say that I decide to just create something new for the sake of this video. I'm going to go to my effects library and I'm just gonna create a random title that I have here. And what I'm gonna do is copy it into my power bins, which are already selected right here. And we'll rename it. Let's load up a new project. Now we'll go into my power bins and we'll drag what's up down here. There you go, element is saved. Now, unfortunately there are a couple of caveats to this. Number one is if you are doing compound clips, it doesn't like compound clips b-roll and I'm just gonna copy this b-roll in here I don't even know what it is but there we go all right so I have this in here if I were to create a compound clip out of this and I go into my power bins and try and drag it it's gonna pop up with an error telling me please unselect these items before adding to the power bin like it just can't do compound clips fusion clips timelines like kind of sucks that there are limitations to that. So there is a workaround to that, which is pretty much defaulting to what I was explaining before about switching between projects, which kind of stinks. So if I was to take this and copy it, and then we open this back up and let's go back to the video that I was working on, click at the end and then paste, like that's gonna work. It is what it is. Like we were able to copy that into there. That's the workaround, but obviously it took some time to actually load that up. Now, one power tip to help you save time here, if you are doing switching between different projects to be able to copy different elements that unfortunately is just popping up errors for, what you can actually do is go into the project folder here, right click and make sure that dynamic project switching is on. This is gonna keep your project in memory. So if for example, I go back to test and I'm gonna copy this twice just so you can see it because the project is still loaded in memory, it's not gonna take as much time to be able to switch it. Plus I don't have to look for it. And so I'm just gonna paste it here. And if I need to switch back, then I can just switch back to test like that and automatically it's gonna load. Boom, then I can copy my next element or do whatever it is that I need to do. Now, unfortunately, dynamic project switching only works if you're on the same database. If you switch databases, then all the projects that were open get closed out of memory. So it is something to consider. It is going to take extra time to be able to switch between the different databases to copy from one project to another. Like you can open as many projects as you want. Just keep in mind, your computer has a finite amount of resources. You don't wanna eat up all of those resources doing it. So overall, not super complicated. I wanna know, are you already using Power Bins? Let me know down in the comments below. Smash that like button if you got value out of this. Share it with a friend, of course, if you did. Don't forget to hit subscribe because I'm coming out with videos all the time. Ring the bell so you get notified when I come out with those videos. And until next time, I'll catch you later.